Oh, welcome back guys, it's Jumpman coming back at you. This time with a lunar video, so let's get started. Growing up before the days when everyone had local video stores to rent any movie they wanted, and long before kids could watch anything streaming on their own TV at any time of the day, toy companies had many ways to give kids a little TV show or movie to watch at home. There was the Kenner or Fisher Price Movie Viewer. Ideal had pocket flakes. And in 1984, Galoo found a new way to bring movie clips to the eyes of kids with sneak previews. They would capture small clips from television shows onto a small film reel. The film reel was inside of a plastic cassette, so they could easily change out. With just one of the viewers, you could have a dozen of clips to watch and trade with your friends. What could you watch on these? From TV, you could watch Airwolf, The A-Team, Voltron, Spectre Gadget, Punky Brewster, Knight Rider, if you were under the comic book superheroes, you could watch Batman, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Superman. The sneak preview would come with a viewer, or you could buy clips on its own if you already had the viewer. Also coming with the film cassette tape was a free collectible card. These were just Super 8 movies with no sound. The viewer machine was motorized to feed the film strip. And on the side of the viewer was control so you could focus and frame the strip as needed. Sadly, the concept failed and Galoo quickly quit production in 1984. As video rental stores took off, kids could easily watch any movie at home, so Galoo moved on. In the early 90s, one of the biggest fads was a find-and-seek themed novel, Where's Waldo? Or for you in the UK, Where's Wally? Galoo wanted to find a way to bring the fun of a big book to kids in a more easier way, where they could share and trade the hide-and-seek game. In 1992, they were released Findums. This was a plastic-based handle where you could slide in a 70 millimeter slide. Kids would take these film slides, place them in the side of the plastic holder, and look into the eyepiece. There they would see a laid out map scene. Moving the slide in and out, they could scan over the map layout to find the characters they were looking for. Although there was one main character to find, on the back of the package was a list of others you could look for. For Spider-Man in New York, the slide had 24 hidden Spider-Mans. As for the extra slide, Spider-Man at the amusement park, there were 20 Spider-Mans to find, plus Doc Ock, Venom, Green Goblin, Doctor Doom, Peter Parker, Hobgoblin, and Mary Jane. A Hulk slide was also sold, called the Hulk in Jake's Junkyard. I'm not really sure who Jake is, but on the slide you can look for 20 different Hulks, and also look for Iron Man, Thor, She-Hulk, and Silver Surfer. The last superhero slide was called Wolverine in Los Angeles. There were 20 Wolverines to find, along with Nightcrawler, Archangel, Cyclops, Magneto, Juggernaut, and Apocalypse. Also part of the final series was Dorothy and Toto in the Land of Oz, where you could find Dorothy, Toto, the Good Witch, Scarecrow, Tin Man, Lion, the Wizard, and the Wicked Witch. And the extra slide for this series was Cinderella. And along with it, you could look for Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Prince and the Pea, Evil Stepsisters, Snow White, Little Mermaid, Rapunzel, and as the back of the package says, many more. Today, the Galoo Findums can be found pretty easy on eBay, with the carded ones with the viewer going for about $20, and then each slide still on the package going for about $10. Well, that's a look at two times Galoo brought the movies or TV shows to our eyes as a kid. I want to thank you for watching. As always, thumb up, turn on my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>